Hello everyone, this is another video from Easy Electric Series and today I want to show you how you could install the older version of the ARM compiler on new version of the uh, ARM uh, cake. So for example, currently what you see on the uh, Kale website, they actually have version 5.37 so whenever you download it, it's actually missing the version 5 and sometimes your code is do the strange thing with your codes whenever you use the TVAC series and also uh, it gives some warning and error. So after you install these versions, so if you come here and check the compiler that you have, usually it just shows the version 6. So that means the new version of the Kale come with these uh, version 6 and if you check these uh, place and these arrow it you it says missing the version 5 in this video i want to show how you could actually add the version 5 here and use the new version kale with the old arm compiler that you have so for this video i just want to install uh, our compiler version 5 and use that with this new version uh, Kale, which actually comes with version 6. Let's do, see how we could uh, do that. Whenever you install the Kale, so this is the latest version currently uh, we have on their website. So in, the, in version 5.37, whenever you install everything, so it's somehow missing the version 5 so that means if you back to the kale comes to here and check your target you see it's uh, after install this version of the kale so the default compiler here is version 6 so if you open this because I already downloaded the version 5 I have version 5 but if you just install that version of the Kale, then back to here. You see it's writing, instead of the compiler version 5, it will be right missing version 5. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you could download the ARM compiler version 5 or actually the other uh, lower version in your uh, Kale software. So there is a f some reasons for that. So for my case, so whenever you use the, the version 6, it's TWASI series do some actually strange behavior in the launchpad and even you have uh, some hard time to uh, working with the register. So for that reason, I'm actually install version 5 because in the version 5, it's very compatible with the launchpad and you don't see these kind of the problem whenever you are programming the Kale. So let's to see how we could actually download the uh, ARM compiler version 6 on the new version of the Kale. So as I mentioned, if whenever you download version 5.7, it actually comes with the uh, ARM compiler version 6 and it is missing the version 5 so for being able to work with TWAS series definitely you need to use version uh, 5 so for doing that so the first things you need to do you need to actually uh, back to the internet and actually go and find this page that we have in the uh, ARM website. So see, you just search for ARM compiler download index. So this is actually the link develop ARM.com documentation KA2051 KA2051918 latest. Okay. So if you take a look to this page, so you could find the old all the version that you are looking for so what we are looking for we are looking for actually the uh, arm compiler so you see the older version so the different version of the six and the version five that we are looking for 
So in this page, you easily able to download it and somehow add to the uh, new version of the cake. So again, just go search for this page, the ARM compiler download index, and here you could see the website. So whenever you are here, so you go and even the old package, old tool chain that you are that you couldn't find in the uh, new version. So definitely here you could find it and add to new version of the case. So so see there is the other tool chains that is here, which is the older version of them. So also here you see the version guide. You just select whatever you want, then you download it. It's download the zip file. Let to do that. Let to find actually the uh, ARM compiler 5.1 here you see the link so whenever you click on the link it's definitely ask about the uh, login account so definitely you should put the uh, account that you have so I already downloaded and it is my uh, download folder so yeah here actually it's bring me the page that I'm looking for so here you could see the ARM compiler file. You could actually find any uh, release version that you have, and then you actually easily download it. Okay, so let's to download one of these. Let's to download this. So let to do on download this one, and definitely it's actually sit on your PC. So it's actually ask where you want to download. I put on the desktop, so then it's actually downloaded. So because I already downloaded that on my uh, document on my uh, download, I need to reinstall that. That able to show the same thing to you. So this is where I downloaded already. I go there. If I put on the setup. So for you, probably you see the different of different than this because you don't have you you didn't install that. So I'm going to remove mine. You don't need to do this step. I just want to remove that. Then I able to show you actually how you could install that. So everything is done. So right now I don't have the version five which I already installed that. So that means you go find the folder the version of ARM compiler 5 that you downloaded. So then you just click on the setup. So then you actually move forward. Next, here you say agree, then you say next. This is the most critical part that you should be careful, okay? So whenever let I just copy one thing here, then I back and explain what you should do here. So. See, in this step which you actually have, the location is very important. Don't actually install that in any location. The right location you will be should be this location that I'm putting here. So that means I have on the C, wherever you have the KLV5, find the you have the ARM folder inside that and install the compiler 5 inside the ARM folder in your KLV5. So see exactly the same location and path that you see here. If you don't do that, definitely is not going to be work. So this is the most important uh, part that you need to be careful. So I actually put that path there. Okay. So then say next, install. So it's actually very fast installation. So you are, it's going to copy the old files that you need. So let I here, I close my old kale. So I finish it. So then you are done. Then open this page. Somehow is another instruction how you could install that, which is nothing important on this. I already mentioned to the old important part of this one. So let to back here. So after you did that, so you need to come to the OK, you open the project, comes to the project, then go to the new multi, uh, let to see, yeah, manage. So you go to the manage project items. So here you click on the folders extension. So then here you actually click on these three dots that you see. So then select these add another ARM compiler version to the list. You click on that, uh, that add the new compiler. Then 
go to find the, uh, com the version 5 that you already uh, installed. So definitely we install that inside the Kale folder ARM and inside that ARM compiler 5 version 5. You actually click on that and then you say OK. So is already is the list. So because I already did that, it says the current version is already on the list. I say you okay. So because you, if, if you are doing that for the first time, you didn't get that message. So as you can see, it's actually add for me the compiler version five. You just close it here. Even if you want to make that as your default, you could actually do this here. You come to the default, you say version five version version 5 and say okay that will be your default you don't need to go there and adjust that a lot so i say okay so now you actually back here click on to click on these small icon go to the target so before that installation you just here in the arm compiler on the target tab you see use the default compiler version 6 and it says missing version 5 so now after installation, you see actually user default compiler version 5. You just put on the version 5. So you already download it. You have it. So if you don't, if you didn't install, you don't see this version 5. It says missing version 5 in the new version of the Kale. So because we already installed that, we could see that here. So then you say, OK, so that means right now, whenever you built it, it used the compiler version 5. So I'm doing that. So see zero error and zero warning and easily you could load it. So this is actually how you could uh, have the ARM compiler 5 or older version of the ARM compiler in a new uh, version of the Kale. I hope you find this video uh, useful. Thank you for watching this video.